week. We built our ultimate gaming machine version 8.0 from the ground up. We walked through everything from the case to the innards to the graphics card, speakers. Over the weekend, we sent it to the lab. They benchmarked dug them, and today we're going to take a look at the results. Robert Heron joins us from the lab. Hey. What do you think, man? Were you okay? Did dang well, I must say. You liked is, it? Yeah. It's faster when I have it home, and that makes me squirm a little bit. It so. makes you, because you, you probably have spent more time than anybody I know chasing frames per second. You are the I'm, ultimate first-person shooter. If you're, you're going to be a gamer, you might as well have the best experience possible, and that's really what you guys set out to build, and i got to say, it worked out exceptionally well. What do we have? The demo? The this is one of our more demanding here. OpenGL tests. It's mm -hmm. a Wolf Enemy Territory. It's a great first-person shooter. And probably not as popular as especially uh, Unreal right. Tournament 2004 and other games, but still a terrific OpenGL test that really just slams a video card, so and to speak. We did okay. We're averaging like 82.2 frames per yeah, second. Yeah, that's 16 by 12. Which is nice. Which is phenomenal, especially if you consider a four-pixel pipeline card, like a 9600 from mm -hmm. ATI. You're getting about half that performance. So really, this is mainly a video card test, mm -hmm. and that 9800, water-cooled as it is, is one awesome, awesome product. And we should point out, we're overclocked about 5% on this yeah. part. We were able to get it up actually close. We were getting 10 or higher even, 10% mm -hmm. or so, but perfect stability. We had to have that right. for day-in and day-out use. I'm not going to put up with blue the screens Apple or random rebootings. doesn't particularly enjoy overclocking. No, and it's mainly a motherboard issue right mm -hmm. now. So hopefully some of the new motherboard designs will be more enthusiast-friendly uh, enthusiast in terms of overclocking. Right. In terms of video cards, on the other hand, I found that the 9800 XT did a wonderful job in terms of overclocking. Thanks in part to Yoshi's beautiful Danger Den water block. Uh, dude, I don't know if we did everybody, just, whoever didn't the, see that, the green hose inside, the, there's a silver water block on the processor. You see where Yoshi actually cut this out and it in. Nice right work, the, the Ogham cut there. But essentially replaced, Danger Den provided us with a heatsink to replace the stock copper Radeon heatsink. Definitely, and that made a lot of difference. But one, if you use the native overclocking tools built into the Radeon drivers, mm -hmm. it'll get you a, a small increase in performance, almost unnoticeable. Right. Without that, with that turned off and with the water cooling, we were able to use special tools uh, like Power Strip. Right. Went ahead and started dialing it up, and God, we got the core speed up to 430 megahertz, and we got the memory at the 400 megahertz. Nice. And we're not done. And that was just, we had to stop and just do do some benchmarks real quick. So I was really happy with we that. We should point out, the Castle Wolfenstein benchmark work looks a little funny because of what we did. What you guys actually discovered is a previous version of the ATI uh uh, the ATI driver actually runs faster than the current oh, version of the ATI sure. driver because that's Definitely. the app on FX51. That's simply a driver difference there. right there, exactly. Okay. With the newest drivers, Agame.0 actually pulls ahead, so we're looking maybe with uh, the FX51 mm -hmm. getting about 72 frames a second. Okay. Not a huge game, we should no, point out. Unreal Tournament 2003, 16 by 1232 bit. The numbers coming up again about you know five and a half six frames difference. The end result was about a 6.6 percent .6 improvement over our previous fastest. Machine. Main difference between the two CPUs too is one you have twice the memory bandwidth mm -hmm. for the memory controller, which is you know uh, for the app on FX51. And obviously in gaming, memory bandwidth isn't such a big deal. Maybe in video right. encoding you'd see a big difference there. On the other hand, for three, over 300 dollars less for the CPU that's in the system. There's it's a lot a of things you can buy with that $300. It's like we said on day one, you know what? It's all about processor, memory, and the graphics card. And once you've set those, there's not a lot of, you can really do to make it that much faster. Oh, make it look cool and water cool it. Gosh, I'm, uh, I like the silence. I have a lot of fans in my system at home, especially in the summertime. You have to crank them up to keep things cool. And, and with the fans turned down on this, it is unbelievably quiet. Very nice. We like that. We got all the specs on Ugum. If you missed them, up at the screensavers.com. If you want our parts list, our tweaking tips, the benchmark numbers, screensavers.com has them all. Robert. Thank you, Lawson, for the benchmarking.